Hi painters, this is Deborah. I'm here to talk to you about my tutorial that we're doing for the Easter Bunny paint kit. And you'll find this kit on paperpalettestudio.com. All right, we're back. And what we're going to do now is start to fill in the rabbit. And we're filling him in with our titanium white and a smidge of black just to kind of and as you can see that's really black we don't need that much but we do need to add a little depth in him that's how we do it got to add a darker shade that's okay because this is all going to be colored, covered up with a bouquet of flowers. I'm going to go around our bunny face. All the way down to his bow tie. I'm going to go into his ears all the way up I'm going to go right across to his nose area putting down the first coat of color of white and it has still that trace of black that I happen to put on my brush down here but that's okay because this is just gonna give him some depth We're going to go over all these lines, not to worry, smooth out your face with around the eyes, up onto the ear. We're using a flat number 12 or number 10, works fine. Okay, picked up some dark hair. It's all right. Let's make some use of it. I'm going to put it here. That's okay. Okay, white. Let your brush do the work. This is a number 12 flat. And uh, <clears throat> go right up to the line. Okay, now let's work on this front area here. Putting it on kind of heavy because there's a large area to cover, which is okay. We're going to use our liner brush to get into the hard to get into spots, but for right now, just kind of move around them. You don't have to 
get into them too, too much because we'll come back to that. All right. These are the shoulders of the rabbit. Smooth this out as much as you can. Okay, there we go. Now, did I get over here? I did not. If you look sideways, left and right to your painting, you can tell what is dry and what is damp. And if it's dry, you need to go over it. Because this is white, it's hard to tell. So if it's dry looking, you need to go right over it. Very slowly, with patience. There we go. Go right up into his forehead. All right. There we go. Okay, so to let this dry, we don't want to touch it. We're going to put down our number 12 for now and pull a number six round, uh, actually number three or four round. And doing that is gonna give us the ability to start doing the flower work since this is dry and this is drying. So you kinda have to do it in layers. We, we wanna Rinse this off and we're moving into our coral shell color and our carousel pink, which is this one, and baby pink, which is this one. We also have this royal fuchsia which is this a little darker we have yellow primary yellow or real yellow we also have orange twist which is here so all these colors are useful and more and more it depends on how you want to um have it stand out but here's where we're going to start i'm going to take my brush it had white on it that's okay white's fine and we're going to lay down the flowers and the first way we're going to do that flowers are sort of abstract okay you don't have to worry about them being perfect in this situation so i want pink flowers here and you also want to think about what is going to look nice with your background. You may have picked a lavender background. You might have picked a purple background. It doesn't really, you know, you have to keep that in mind as to, it doesn't matter, it doesn't really matter what color background you used. Just keep in mind what colors look good with it once they're Put together. So in this case, you're using pinks, baby pink, got the coral color up here.
Okay, and this also, I'm using kind of two colors. This also needs to dry. Okay, we're going to do some small ones. And I'm going to fill this in here. using a little bit of orange. Remember, the flower is abstract. It does not have to be a round circle. It does not have to be a complete um, distinct flower petal. It's just something that you can see because we're going to be adding color upon color on top of this. Now we'll move forward. Let's see. This is still wet. Yeah, you gotta wait on that. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker yellow and add my center. The thing about it is you want all the flowers to look different. And this is just dab, dab, dab. So skip around. with the colors that you're using so that they're not all lined up next to each other exactly the same. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking the orange, I'm dabbing the center, and now I'm going to dab around the exterior of it. Dab the center and go around the exterior. Dab the center and round. Okay? Through the center and this is just a layer each dab is separate so that it shows up and you want to use colors that work with each other they bounce off of each other once we get our leaves in you're really going to be able to see some definition here okay let's go up to the top okay. this color here is pretty much Now I'm switching brushes because this is God now white is still good, huh? Because I'm gonna go in with some smaller flowers in tighter areas. Again, very abstractly shaped but I kind of want them to connect. So it looks like I'm doing kind of like a flower braid or a flower wreath. And it's okay if you have color already on your brush because that's just gonna add to the depth of your rose or the depth of your flower. I like to use dark and then light 
and then hit it again with some dark. Again, the leaves are really going to make this um, Side looks very one color, huh? We're giving this an opportunity for the other ones to set because this way it allows us to run color on top of them once they're set. If they're not set, then all the colors, like this one here is not set, all the colors are going to run together, which is okay, but it doesn't give you a real distinct line of a flower petal. All right. Let's... Move these guys out of the way. We're going to go into the green, maybe a little blue. So we're going to put in our um, the leaves.
a very abstract leaf. It's just color that we're adding. And now, let's see, I think, yes, we can start our um, flow of flowers. Across the chest. I'm going to space them apart. going to go to here. off this brush go back into the greens I'm doing this um, Windsor blue a dip just a tad and some leaf green that will give me almost a true blue green then I like to add some white to that just to give it a, a lighter value so that when we actually get some color down, it gives us two shades. And it allows us just to kind of put a little bit of background to these flowers. But we want to kind of connect them together so that they look like they're a floral chain or okay now take the blue off the brush and we want to clean it on this paper towel and start entering the cert the the centers Enter the centers of your flower and then the perimeter. And we'll take this one. We'll take some white.
Um, maybe I can use just kind of like a little bit of this color here. Okay, so the next thing we're doing is we're putting in some, let me see if I have this one, I think I do these, yeah, this one. This here is a number 12 flat. All right. to use a little bit of white and this is going to act as my sort of noise background and what this does is it gives it some depth in color where it's not so flat because we're up against white and we want it to look like we've got fern back here and just all types of different colored greenery. That's something that you would normally see if you were in a flower shop and you were making a, a braid of So by mixing three colors together, meaning your white, forest green, and then the mixture of forest green and white together, that kind of gives you, and you got to use a flat side of your brush. I mean, the straight up and down side of your brush. Don't lay it flat. It's got to be straight up and down, 90 degree. Grab some of this color. You want to move into the blue green, which is kind of you got to still lightly grab some blue, just a hair of blue, and come up here and start dabbing it in and around your flowers so that this looks like it's laying on a bed of really pretty feathery greenery. Um, But again, using two colors, three colors, it's going to give you more bang for your buck simply because you're hitting it one time, but it looks like you've hit it many times. And it works well. Because everything else you put in that you don't think looks good, is co it's not covered, but it blends with all of this. See how that's just... Those leaves aren't the greatest, but they look fine because it's giving it a darker, a darker area. All right, so now we're gonna come here. We're just dabbing straight up and down. This is not a pulling motion or a feathery anything. It's just dabbing straight up and down. I'm kind of rotating my canvas all the way around. <laughs> I hope you can see it all. I think you can. Let me move these. Oh no. Hold on. Okay, there we go. All right, so here we are again. Now I've got the blue green. I'm working with blue green. I've got just this touch of Windsor blue a dab of leaf green and we're going to come in here and you want to think about the natural um, direction that your leaves would go okay and that's where you're going to put them but really just surround your flower in them 
surround your flower and you know you'll work your own pace into making what looks like leaf shapes for yourself Coming down here to the end, I think some of this, I'm doing it almost from my part of it, I'm doing it all kind of almost upside down. I am upside down, but I could still see, and as long as I'm keeping with the colors that are over here, the same colors, were okay. See, now I'm going on to this section, blending whatever I mixed here. Going on top. Okay, we've went successfully all the way around. And now let's clean our brush off. Now we're going to go back onto the face of our rabbit. We're going to cut, we're going to cover that ear with more white. Okay, we're gonna go right on to, this has a little bit of water. I wanna say thank you to everybody who came out to watch this. Please like and subscribe below if you like this video and you wanna see more like this. And please go to paperpalettestudio.com so you can order your Spring Bunny paint kit in time for the holiday. Thank you, and I cannot wait to see what you've created.